Hi, my name is Ellis Howard and I'm an actor, writer, working alongside Church Action on Poverty and welcome to our cabaret. What you're about to watch now are some art from people who've either been involved in the LGBTQ plus and poverty workshops, people who, are, who work with Church Action on Poverty in some capacity, people who have lived experience of poverty or those simply working to end the epidemic of poverty in contemporary Britain. So please sit back, enjoy and indulge in the incredible musing and artistry of the Friends of Church Action on Poverty. Thank you. From within the office where he'd been taken on to fill an insignificant, ill-paid position, eight pounds a month at best, bonuses included, he emerged when he'd finished the solitary task at which he'd been stooped the entire afternoon. He left at seven and then strolled slowly along and dawdled in the street. Handsome. Interesting, too, in a way that showed he'd realised a maximal yield from his senses. He'd just turned 29 the month before. He dawdled in the street and in the shabby alleyways that led to where he lived. As he passed before a little store where the goods that were for sale were shoddy, low-priced things for labourers, he saw a face within. He saw a shape. They urged him on and he went in, as if keen on seeing coloured handkerchiefs. He asked about the quality of the handkerchiefs and uh, what they cost, in a voice that was choked, almost stifled by his yearning. So too the answers that came back, distracted in a voice kept very low, secretly concealing consent. Now and then they'd talk about the merchandise, but their sole aim for their hands to touch atop the handkerchiefs, for their faces to draw near and their lips as if by chance, some momentary contact of their limbs, quickly and secretly so the proprietor wouldn't notice sitting there in back. Folding cardboard alone Tapping sim-driven phone Hoping for likes but my face friend's long gone Nobody sees me or hears me or cares My tummy is rumbling, I got moneyless fears I've got the food COVID food blues. Let me explain to you before you second guess. When no lack of trying, the spiral down bears. I stood at the door like a dick with no soul. When they turned me away, they said to me, Not today, I got the food blues. I got the COVID food blues. You sanction the helping business, I can tell. So what now, I ask? Get me out of this hell. You see, I worked on the fly for some dough to get high. Well, are you surprised? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I got the food blues. I got the food blues. I got the food blues. I got the COVID food blues. Suffer from the low, the kind that just won't go. Mental case I know, skunk with crack or blow. The shithole called home, estate clouds they roam, directionless groan, seeks wonga fight low. The shame of the soup run, it's a sociable place, but I can't hold my head up for fear of disgrace. I've got the food blues, I got the food blues, I got the food blues, I got the COVID food blues. 
I'm starving for food. This sort of will do me some good. But my inners are rotten, all nutrients forgotten. I crave monster fuel. I dig we live in gruel. Prefer shit face than fool. Eyes welling, pull over the wool. I'm screaming for justice, but no sense to trust it. Connections long lost, food seems just for the posh. I'm low life personified, I'm trembling, lonely and terrified. They say I'm a benefit cheat, but I'm too fucking poor to eat. Food blues, I got the food blues, I got the food blues, I got the COVID food blues. I wish you understood. You see me dressed in a suit. What you don't see is the lining stained in blood, shed as the result of violence. It's not the whole story. What I don't tell you is the suit covers a soul injured by brutality. I tell you of my mother the victim of domestic violence, or a murdered brother. I stand on my stage, a warrior for opportunity, empathy. My fear? Being cast aside, like the worthless child I thought I was. Losing my ability to pave a path for the forgotten. happened last night? Are you really here? Joan, 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 Joan. Hi, Joan. Don't wake up, Joan. Oh my God, last night. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, last night. I was so excited, I was too enthusiastic. Thank you for not laughing. Well, you laughed a little bit at one point when I was touching you and said I might lose consciousness, which you said was adorable. And I just have to trust that you don't think I'm an idiot or some kind of an animal. I've never lost control due to overwhelming lust. But I must say that I'm changing my major to Joan. I'm changing my major to sex with Joan. I'm changing my major to sex with Joan, with a minor in kissing Joan. Foreign study to Joan's inner thighs, a seminar on Joan's ass in her Levi's, and Joan's crazy brown eyes. Joan, I feel like Hercules. Oh God, that sounds ridiculous. Just keep on sleeping through this and I'll work on calming down. So by the time you've woken up, I'll be cool, I'll be collected and I'll have gained some dignity, but who needs dignity? Cause this is so much better. I'm radiating happiness. Will you stay here with me for the rest of the semester? We won't need any food. We'll live on sex alone. Sex with Joan. a thesis on Joan. It's a cutting edge field and my mind is blown. I will gladly stay up every night to hone my compulsory skills with Joan. I will study my way down her spine, familiarize myself with her well-made outline while she researches mine. I don't know who I am. I've become someone new. Nothing I just did is anything I would do. Overnight, everything's changed. I'm not prepared. I'm dizzy, I'm nauseous, I'm shaky. I'm scared. Am I falling into nothingness or flying? to something so sublime I don't know but I'm changing my major to Joan I thought all my life I'd be all alone but that was 
was before I was lying prone in this dorm room bed with Joan. Look, she drooled on the pillow, so sweet, all sweaty and tangled up in my bed sheet. Let's never leave this room. How about we stay here till finals? I'll go to school forever. I'll take out a dementedly huge high interest loan. Cause I'm changing my major to John. Every now and then, and every time, it is a moment to disappear into each other. And there I saw him, his eyes, whose beauty revealing, breathtaking. He talked. He was foreign to me. And yet I feel that I have always known him. I lay in my bed and craved him. I felt his grasp. And as I did, I came alive into the inexplicable, unnatural glow. I feel it on my face and in my bones. And I have gone too deep. Open mouth, flash of tongue to cure me, voracious cannibalism, salty drops roll off untouched, and if I could struggle against him, his eyes, his breath, holding on to his hand, holding my breath when we fuck, never holding back. I feel as much a part of him as his skin. I feel like a newborn, disoriented. One night I accept the invitation. He looked at me with that smile, vibrant, compelling, and alive. It was like looking inside myself. He held his hand out. What I felt for him was everything. We had no certainty of the next step, the next hour, the next breath, the future. And now, and now, I stare at my feeble reflection in my window, clutching for him. Whatever we believe in, God, movies, books and records, men and idiots, loneliness, anxiety, struggle and love, America is rife with Hollywood trappings, a fistful of bills and coins. He is none of these things. I know a man who has a passion misunderstood. It is like a quiet oasis driven effortlessly by heat and pressure. They are unaware what he had given me. They can never understand. Nothing can like you do. He had me on the floor wiping tears from my eyes. We leave the confines of ourselves further dissolving the boundaries dividing us from each other and from the only difference between us. I find myself bewildered. A metamorphosis come alive as we learn to trust such a thing, a thing of astonishing beauty. I don't know. All that I am is here. and all that I had was him. Poverty of love, what is it? This poverty of love, this not enoughness, Oliver Twist with his begging bowl of sorrow, 
the power to administer or withhold. It's a war of humanity, a power trip of many guises. Whether it's a battle in the lining of a tummy, the shelling of a soul, with blows of violence dressed up as love in the blame of control. It's a game played out in the corridors of power, a class of the elite, their subsistence obtained at the bar of subsidy residing over rationing. Its outcomes, their, my, your, our futures, wrapped up in the collection of molecules called food. It's shame, monthly bleeding, with no simple protective pad, absence from participation from everyday living. Does that really happen in 2021 Britain? Greatness gone with a pathetic reality? Power marries classes together against each other to maintain its position. Poverty required, keeping the order of society Yet, it's not an over there possibility. It's an everyday reality, hidden in the obscurity of experience, far from the platforms of rhetoric. So what of Wednesdays? What question dilemma faced? Drowning in the opposition's challenges with guffaws, starving hunger, hiding bruises with blusher, no place of safety possible, bleeding and missing school. 2021? No. 1621. By another name. Tradition permitting continuity of an age-old system and structure. Poverty and underpinning construct. Lives merely fodder. For others, possibility. Love absent, obstructed in the war of power. Yet hearts bleed productivity, and the figures speak for themselves. Indeed, 1621 in another name.
He's lost him utterly. And from now on, he seeks in the lips of every new lover that he takes the lips of that one. His coupling with every new lover that he takes, he longs to be mistaken. That it's the same young man that he's giving himself to him. He's lost him utterly as if he'd never been. The other wished, he said, he wished to save himself from that stigmatised pleasure so unwholesome, from that stigmatised pleasure in its shame. There was still time, he said, time to save himself. He's lost him utterly, as if he'd never been, in his imagination, in his hallucinations, in the lips of other youths, he seeks the lips of that one. He wishes that he might feel his love again. 